All right, a little red zone action here. Case, will you give the offensive coordinator kind of your likes and dislikes in the red zone as well? I mean, like Drew Locke told the coordinator the plays he likes down here, you think, in the red zone? Oh, there's no doubt. I think, uh, you know, in the different situations, um, you know, third down, second down, run, you know, play action pass down there, uh, third down in the open field, uh, all of the above. I'm, I'm hoping that he's talked to his coordinator and, and knows exactly what uh, what he likes called and what they're what they're seeing, and hopefully they're on the same page here. All right, what do you like if 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 this if Seattle scores, is it going to be a run or a pass? What do you what are you thinking? I mean, I'm, I'm a quarterback here, man. You got another quarterback on here. I'm I'm trying to get the name RPO changed to PRO, uh, so I'm I'm going all pass all the way, man. I love that. All right, think about if there's a specific player you think that might catch this touchdown from Drew here. So, DK Metcalf, maybe? All right, Case. Ooh. Third and, thir- third and seven here. Hey, Case, I mean, kind of an interesting scenario, right? Eagles change coordinators midweek. I mean, wouldn't you think Drew Locke, Geno Smith probably studied some old New England and Detroit film of Matt Patricia, uh, you know, calling defenses? You know, there's no telling. Um, you know, as, as far as like we talked about the preparation, I'm, I'm worried more about my own plays, you know, trying to, trying to focus on my own playbook and, and get plays that I love to run down there. Um, you know, there's no telling what they're going to throw at them here. Bringing some oh, heat here, out. Eli. He brought pressure. That's that's one thing that they kind of haven't been doing as much, right? So that one, that's a little change there, being a little more aggressive on third down. If, if you're Seattle here, I think you got to take the points, Eli. What do you think, Case? Points? I think so. I think the way the game's been going, you, you finally put together a good drive. You you got to go in at halftime, uh, you know, with some points, and, and you know, you never know. You might get the ball back again here before the end of the half. They are leaning toward going for this on fourth and three. There'd be no reason, no reason to try to draw them off sides and burn a timeout. So, what do you like here, Case? Like a fade to DK? Yeah, yeah. I mean, who doesn't like throwing a fade to DK? Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's probably a little off schedule play here. Is, is what I think. Uh, I think a off schedule play, maybe back in line. Uh, Opportunity ball back there. Okay, I like that, Eli. Look, you, you, you have no. You, okay. Me too. Right there. Well, they're motioning them in. A little pick play to DK, maybe. I think they're trying oh, to dummy, dummy snap count. No, right. no. All right, trying to get him to jump off sides. Teasing us. Teasing us. <laughs> this is a timeout marathon right here. Jeez. <laughs> now they're going to kick hey, it. Case, have you ever played against a defensive coordinator who was an offensive coordinator the year before? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't. <laughs> it's That's, uh, it's, uh, definitely it's, be a first. It's. It's a first because it's not supposed to happen, Eli. This <laughs> is where Matt Patricia, thinking, this is where he belongs, Case. This is where he belongs, <laughs> right here on this side of the ball. I played against this guy a bunch. I think he's one of the best, but let's keep him on this side of the ball. Uh, yeah, they went for the, he's thinking what I'm thinking, but, uh, you know, we're thinking that they're thinking this, that they're thinking that. <laughs> that was over that, thinking. That was the approach for sure. All right. Stay with us, Case. We got a little two minute drive right here. Tell us what's going on. If y'all race today, who would win? I would win. Nobody wants to see that, including us. I would love to see you two on the foot race. No, you wouldn't. No, who's the fastest? Hey, a lot of people are calling for this foot race. Nobody wants to see that race. Let's give the people what they want. Who do you think would win, Case? Obviously me, but who do you who do you do you want to give an answer or? Uh, <laughs> I think I gotta go, Eli, man. I think I gotta go, Thank Eli. You. I'll put you up on the 
perfect prediction Case. panel for that. Case, I mean, what about a push-up Case, contest? I, can we, can we, I mean, I mean, Case, I, I took you under my wing here in Denver. I gave you all this great advice in Denver. I told you, you know, don't join a golf club. You join a golf club, and, and you're winning, like, all the tournaments there. I mean, every advice I've given you, you do the opposite, and it works out perfectly well for you. So I guess that's the motto. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you had, uh, you had some great advice, and uh, I did not take it at all. <laughs> All right, before before this two minute drive, I got to get one question in. This is this was my my big question. I, I, you were on the Bills last season, case, and I read that to try to convince Josh to slide more and not take so many hits. That you told him that if he slid feet first in a game with no one around him, that you would wear only a jock strap to one of the team's walkthroughs. Case, did Josh take you up on that offer? <laughs> Unfortunately for for all parties involved, I think he he slid one time the entire season last year, and it was the week that I made that wager. And uh, I'm a I'm a man who who pays his debts uh, when they're owed, and <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Start there. Good start there to the two minute drill. Case. Gotta change the I subject, mean, Pete. Good job. Well, yeah. I, yeah, I mean. Thank you. I mean, you told Thank me you, to Pete. stop talking about me under your but, you know, butt cheek, butt, butt cheeks, jock straps. Golly, two minute drill. I want to get off to a good start. Legal use of hands Positive first play. Defense okay, good. Good. Defensive, Defensive pass out right there, Pete. The Case route by Devante. I mean, a little stutter comeback. Obviously, Jalen's you know been getting these all season, but I, I mean a two minute drill is one thing that that you'll get reps of even if you're not the starter that week, right? I mean everybody gets two minute drill. Even if it's against the, the maybe the scout team, right? But it's, it's something uh, that you get every single week, though. Yeah, you get a couple of those uh, a week, and it's usually generally some base passes, uh, like you said. And that was a good good one to start off with. There, I love that little stutter comeback on the outside. The, the weather's not great there, looks like. So something that uh, uh, you feel comfortable with, an outbreaker on the outside, a safe throw, and man, that was a great route. It broke them off pretty good there. I mean, I always felt like in bad weather, look, the advantage is for the offense, right? We know where we're going. Seattle's defense doesn't. I like, you know, let's run good routes. Let's sell the go route. Let's turn them on the outside. It should be advantage offense here, Eli. But like I said, Eli, an incompletion here or, or, or um, a, a third down here, look for Seattle to possibly, you know, call timeout if the clock's running. Right here. Oh, tip ball. It'll save a timeout. Case, you might be yeah. right. Seattle could get this ball back right here on a third and ten. Yeah, you got to be careful uh, trying to be too yeah. aggressive. This is where they got to get off the field. This is where they, they have not been very good on third down, Pete. So, you know, they've I been like playing it. a lot of those soft zones, those cover threes. The middle of the field has been, been wide open. Let's get, they've, let's get, let's get five people out. Let's get five of them out, Eli. Let, you know, they're playing zone. Let's get five guys out in the pattern and try to occupy those zones, maybe get one of those in routes. They're showing uh, free safety or uh, will linebacker pressure. Going to try to keep the back end up top. No, he didn't come. Good, Good job zone. getting five out. There you go. They kind of, I think he worked Pretty the wrong coverage. side, Pay. They kind of had a curl curl flat to the left. They had a tight, like a, like a deep Y hank. You can see Goddard that's him, right over the middle. You got Devontae Smith kind of on the curl route. To the left is probably the cleanest area with all those dropping. Safety was dropping weak, kind of go away from rotation right there, kind of forcing it to AJ maybe. All right, right, two timeouts, two timeouts. Seahawks, let's see if Drew Locke can get a little too much. Does does Case get on the prediction panel for predicting that Seattle was going to get the ball back? Not yet. He's got to be some more more correct predictions. (laughs) Do they get points right here? Does Seattle get points before the on this drive? <laughs> yes, that's a yes. That's a nod. Sure. Why are you yelling at me, Peyton? I don't like when you yell at me. Case, Case knows what I'm talking about, right? I mean, just, just give me the play. I don't, I don't need all the pep talk. All right, Case. Drew Locke needs. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's a miracle that he needs, but he's got a tough. Uh, I think it's tough to go 80 yards in uh, in a minute, just a minute eight. But look, you're obviously well known for the Minneapolis miracle in 18. 
61-yard touchdown to Diggs on the final play of the game to beat the Saints uh, in the divisional round. Look, I, I know besides being on the Manning cast, that had to be one of the top moments of your career. Uh, what was going through your mind when that happened? Man, you're, you're obviously right, Peyton. This is the highlight of my career tonight right now, <laughs> the, this, this moment right here. Uh, but, but a close second or third, yes, uh, uh, would, would have to be the Minnesota Miracle. I mean, just a unbelievable moment, unbelievable time. And I just I gave uh, right there, Stephon Diggs, gave him a chance. And, man, I'm, I'm sure glad he didn't run out of bounds. Uh, but right about this moment, I could not tell you anything that was running through my mind. It was, it was much <laughs> at that moment. <laughs> uh. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, they see maybe a little, a, uh, uh, a little miraculous moment maybe? right here, huh? To do something. Yeah. yeah. Are you checking for? Are you checking for grounding? Oh no! They threw the, oh, they threw right the grounding flag on him. Right in his face. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's more insulting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just didn't. There was no. Was there nobody really around him to, to kind of make it? Was he under duress? That's the new. That's the rule, right? Yeah. He kind of had four verticals. The guy on the outside was way down the field. See. You see. You see, Case. You know what? You got to start yelling right there. You got to say, "You stupid receiver! You ran the wrong route. You're supposed to be on a ten-yard out route. You just yell at him and you sell it." And that ref, he will bite eventually, but you got to sell it. I mean, you got to really you're, call you're him some bad names. You're obviously the best at that. You may not be the I fastest mean, of the brothers, but you are the best at body language after the route. Like, thank you. You got to call way, that receiver. That way, what was it? You, you got to call that receiver every name in the book and just absolutely berate him that he ran the wrong careful, route, Eli. Though. You got to be careful yelling at DK. He's a large man. Like Marvin Harrison, a little smaller. You <laughs> no, can yell at Marvin. No. DK. It was Lockett. It was, it was Lockett. It was Lockett. <laughs> you, you, you definitely yell at Lockett. You do not You do not go anywhere near DK. No, you don't touch that. Lockett ran the, ran the wrong route. Got it. What, it also we, helps if you know know the referee's name. That's Clay there. You got to say, "Hey Clay, man, Clay, my guy." There you go. And yeah. if you know him That's on a personal absolute, level, man. I mean, you can plead with him, and, and maybe he won't throw that flag right in your yeah. face again. Yeah, that move right absolutely. there, knowing the ref's name. That's, that's yeah, Clay. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't help it if he's a complete moron. He runs the wrong route. He doesn't study his playbook. Like you know, I mean, how do you work like this? They pull, they, I'm telling you, they pull the flag up. All right, this is a run play right here. You got to run it and get Seattle, out of here, right? Seattle, Philly's got no timeouts, which they probably would like to have oh, one. Oh, oh you holding, get a holding. Oh, no. Oh, you're kidding. Now they're going to get it back. They will get it back. Why don't you just kneel it in that situation? Like, you're trying to just get out of it. Like, you're trying, you know, right there. Now you're going to punt it back to them. You get a hold. You get a turnover. Just take the knee. Offense get out number of there. 63. Penalties decline. Because they Go might down. boo you. That's why. That's why. Fans boo on the kneel. Okay, so uh, uh, what are we thinking this week? Uh, kind of wait till Wednesday to find out where CJ is and what the game plan for you is. Yeah, who knows, man? Um, you know the protocol is, is tough, man. And uh, like we talked about earlier, that's that's the job of a backup quarterback being ready to go uh, whenever and wherever your name is called. Uh, you know, I love playing. It's it's been a blast. Uh, to be back on that field, obviously it's been a few years since I've I've uh, gotten to do that. But uh, uh, so I'll, I'll be ready, ready to go. But you know, who knows? Who knows how this week will go? Uh, you know, I hope CJ's feeling better um, and uh, can go this Sunday. We, we got to be careful doing this. We went. We asked Kelsey a few years ago who they're playing the next week. He had no idea. Do you know <laughs> who you're playing this upcoming week? <laughs> I I do. Yes, we're playing Cleveland Browns, it, and it turned into every week now for me since I've been around the league uh turns into a revenge week uh played play playing against one of my old former teammates or former teams uh got Miles Garrett coming in uh I'm hoping I'm hoping he remembers the deal I made with him in the hot tub uh back in 2021 I said hey Miles if I just give you two sacks in the first drive first quarter you just don't rush for the rest of the game so um <laughs> You know, I, obviously, I don't know if I'm playing or not yet, but uh, we'll see if he remembers that deal. 
I like that. I like that. That's smart. <laughs> That's good forward thinking on your part. And Case, how many former teams might you play against in a, uh, um, in a typical season? Uh, uh, how many? Well, I've, I've been, uh, yeah, Houston, St. Louis, uh, L.A., Minnesota, Denver, Washington, Cleveland, Buffalo. So just a few to name. <laughs> Adis. It was about Adis. Uh, all right. Philly's going to try to do something here? Try. Try is the big word. This is this Philly. was like the fastest first half in the history until the last two minutes have taken 35 minutes. And it's been a timeout and incompletion fest. It's been like five possessions sure. in two minutes. Yeah. I mean, I, th- I think maybe let's try to get one in the middle of the field, spike it, and then take a shot of the Hail Mary. I like it. Right there, middle of the field. We'll run it, get out of bounds. Take more time. Case, what do you need to get to a Hail Mary? 50? 50 for you these days? 40? Well, we were on the 45 yesterday, and uh, we put Davis Mills in because he could throw it for about <laughs> 75. So. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay I with mean, that? I mean, were you I like, hey, were you like, hey I don't want to throw the interception. I don't want to throw the interception. <laughs> Hail Mary! Put in, put in the, the, you know, the younger guy. Put in the well, young the guys. Buck. It takes so long for those guys to get down the field. You got to hold on to the ball Absolutely. all the time, and he wound up getting sacked. So, uh, you know, Absolutely. I hate it for Davis. I'm sorry, but uh, I didn't. That was another sack I didn't take. <laughs> veteran, veteran privileges. There's no doubt. They're going to have to punt it again. They're going to have to punt it. They have to punt it again. Hey, are we going to get to see the chunk it play? It's eight seconds. Oh, just the like. What's the chunk it play? You got to explain it. Just throw it out of bounds and run off eight seconds. I think the. Uh, I think the Jets. Throwing the interception around this yard line. It scared everybody from throwing that uh, Hail Mary. So that's why I think the punt's coming out. All right, I think, I think Case throws on us, or else he's playing a prank on us. I'm not sure. Case found a good look. He found a good look for him, and he said, freeze that. That's my, that's my, that's my best look. Case, thank you, pal. Good luck there. against Cleveland. I know you hear me. Appreciate you, pal.